Українське підприємство Caravan Logistics вже вітавна надає громадському проєктові Торонського відділу Конгресії українців Канади Євромайдан приміщення і послуги на сховище і перевіз різнородного медичного приладдя на користь ранених під час війни з російським насильством в Східній Україні. Ми в Caravan Logistics warehouse в Oakville і ми розробляємо 40-фут контейнер медичних допомог та гуманітарні допомоги для України. We hope uh, to load the container today, and if all goes well, the container should arrive in Kiev in the middle of February. Behind me, there are approximately 12 skids uh, composed of medical supplies, surgical instruments, uh, bandages, surgical masks. Very important uh, for hospitals, uh, especially treating patients near the front line. In addition to that, this container contains computers which we refurbish and make available to children in orphanages and in the school system in Ukraine. And finally, uh, some new clothing as well as some toys for children in orphanages. So you can see it's a, quite a mix of goods, a total of over uh, five tons of humanitarian aid. And as we uh, close out 2015, it represents the third container uh, that has been sent from uh, Toronto, Euromaidan, and UCC Toronto in their efforts to help Ukraine. We have quite a collection of uh, equipment, as you can see, from wheelchairs to emergency supplies and stretchers, uh, medical supplies, and, and all of these things have, have come to us through the uh, uh, donations and kindness of uh, different organizations. The children of Chernobyl, through their contacts, have provided many of the uh, medical supplies that you see working with other charities. Uh, we've secured uh, a number of uh, emergency supplies like stretchers that can be used in ambulances, beds which are badly needed in Ukraine. And finally, uh, the Ukrainian Catholic Church uh, held an event and they uh, assembled uh, 40 wheelchairs, uh, made sure they were clean and ready to go. Uh, and they were kind enough to uh, donate 40 wheelchairs to us. On an ongoing basis, people in the community also contact us through Euromaidan Canada uh, when they have donations. Many wheelchairs that you see here, uh, high quality, uh, were donated by individuals and facilities in the community. As you can imagine, uh, pulling together a, a five-ton container, a 40-foot container of uh, supplies takes uh, many hours of work uh, and energy from, from our volunteers and, and, and we, uh, we are blessed to have uh, such a wonderful group of volunteers representing a range of organizations, uh, the League of Ukrainian Canadians, Euromaidan Canada and UCC Toronto, uh, Children of Chernobyl. Everyone pulls together to help us in this worthy cause with the focus on helping Ukraine. 2015 has been a very busy year for us. We launched the Ukraine Appeal, which was a Ukrainian-Canadian Congress initiative to unite the community and our organizations working together better to help Ukraine. Over the last six months, we've sent three containers to Ukraine, uh, a wheelchair container full of uh, high-end and pediatric wheelchairs, which went to Lviv, to the General Law Clinic, Lviv Military Hospital. Our medical supplies were distributed in hospitals along the ATO zone from Mariupol to Slovyansk. They're in dire need of supplies and we uh, continue our effort with this final uh, container which will reach Ukraine in mid-February. As we pause, uh, unfortunately, the crisis continues and the impact that the crisis has had is dramatic and we are looking at a longer term challenge and need for assistance. So as soon as we finish this container, we'll be going back into the planning stages, working with charities in Canada to secure supplies, working with our partners in Ukraine to make sure we understand where the needs are and working with the Ukrainian World Congress in Kyiv to help ensure that our material gets to where it's needed. One of the key projects that we've also finished was the Ambulance of Ukraine project, where we sent four ambulances to various cities to help care for the wounded. It was, a very, very, it was very much a success, and we are now entering phase two. And as we look into 2016, 
we will be looking to send 12 to 16 ambulances to Ukraine. We will in January be hearing from Manitoba where the government and UCC Manitoba will be announcing the donation of three ambulances. And we already have commitments from other provinces for additional ambulances. So there's a tremendous challenge. You've met and seen some of our volunteers and we'll be working as hard as we can to help Ukraine in the coming period.